Do you ignore newsletters that you sign up for? I've done that a couple times and I continue to see that with the Texas Authors Institute of History's newsletter. As a museum for Texas authors, we work hard to help authors to succeed. And we know that a lot of our valuable information works not only for Texas authors, but for authors around the world and stuff. But specifically for our newsletter, we send out two to three times a week information that yes, of course, promotes our services so that we can bring money into the organization to keep it alive and keep it growing. But at the same time, we send out a lot of information that helps an author to succeed if they read it, pay attention to it and use it. So that makes me wonder, if you ignore a newsletter, are you saying, I don't want to succeed? I don't want my books to sell? I don't want to be an entrepreneur? Help me understand that. If you are a part of an organization that wants to help you to succeed, why aren't you taking advantage of it? It doesn't matter if it's a museum like ours or any organization. As long as they have a true, honest belief in helping authors to succeed, work with them. Because ultimately, it will help you to succeed. Because you never know what's in that newsletter that can be of value to you. Love to hear your thoughts. Take care.